Yes, brother. Name and your profession. Assalamu alaikum, Ustad. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, my name is Bilal Girinet. Uh, I'm from Australia and a student of Islamic finance and banking. I just want to first say that my friends and I are your biggest fans. Uh, the question is, science is on the move to send rockets and build a civilization on Mars. What is the Qibla on Mars? Uh, what does the Islam and the Quran say about that? And will science be successful? <clears throat> well, there's a question that science is advancing and they are sending rockets to Mars. And what is the Qibla in Mars? When we reach them, then inshallah we'll get the right answer. At present, we're here. Anyway, the ruling is that if you're flying in a plane and if you're, if you're, if you're traveling in a vehicle, when you start your salah, it should face the Qibla. And if the vehicle changes, yet it is accepted. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 177, it is not righteousness that you turn your face to the east and west. It is righteousness that you believe in Allah. You believe in the book, you believe in the angels. Qibla is our direction. It is for unity. So today if you have to pray here, some will say let's pray south, some will say west, some will say east. So Qibla, sorry, is for unity. It's for unity. So that we face in one direction. And we all pray together, that's important. So if you're traveling in a vehicle, when the vehicle starts, you face in that direction when it starts. And then if it changes, it's accepted because the niya is more important. That is the meaning. And if you cannot identify, if you don't have a compass, and you can identify, that doesn't mean you don't pray. To your best of sense, what you can identify, if you don't have any compass and you don't know where it is, then that doesn't mean you don't pray. You, all of, if there are few people, the best that you can feel, that you can, from your sense, you think that is, and you pray that way. Hope that is the question. Jazakallah.